Oh, hi everyone, and welcome to Tilt! Uh, more, uh, fun, 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 fun with this wonderful Trash Fires crew. Uh, before we go around and say hello to everyone, please take a moment to check out our links. Uh, you can find all of the things there, including social links, places you can go to support us, sponsor information, big thank you to Mage Hand Press and Bird and the Storm Publishing, who make this all possible. Also, we've got a ton of websites where you can get 10-15% to 15 discount using our special codes. Go and check those out too. And also, we have a tweet. Please retweet the tweet to tweet the tweet, because that helps us tweet when we tweet. Uh, let's go around and say hello to everyone, starting with our wonderful DM who is glowing today, Kelly! Hi, I'm Kelly, uh, A. Kelly Lane on Twitter, A. Kelly in chat. You can find me here, right now, every week, same time, same channel. You can find me here on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. EST, playing superheroes. You can find me Saturdays, most Saturdays, on Wandering DM, playing in a horror game. Uh, I also write articles for Scratch Patreon. You should check them out. I also do stuff on DM Guild with lots of stuff coming up soon, but you should check out Uncaged. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Kelly, we need to do some of your Uncaged stuff on an Academy Day sometime soon. That'd be amazing. I could probably, I need to ask permission from everybody else, but the squad loves that kind of stuff, so. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> okay. Composure. Uh, next, <laughs> we have Vera says dragons. Oh, hi, Vera. I'm so used to you guys doing Ray. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Vera from Vera says dragons. You can find me at Vera says dragons literally everywhere. Um, I'm working on some stuff for DMs Guild because I hate myself apparently, but you know, uh, and that's about it. Yay. Yay. And I'm here every and I'm here every Monday. Yay! Last but most certainly not least, we have the wonderful Ray at Wiverbrick. Oh, hi! Oh, no. Oh, oh. Okay, here I am. Hey! I don't know what happened. I just glitched out hard. But hi, I'm Ray. I'm with a brick. Um, I play Ipsis, a naive little tiefling trickster girl um who's absolutely fascinated with wherever we are right now doing whatever we need to be doing so i'm ready to dive in and see what other kind of beautiness is in store i'm very excited fantastic fantastic i play lon's delight tonight uh lon's delight is my mom's delight um mom lock um protection fighter mostly <laughs> Kelly, I'll give it to you. Um, I guess I will take a crack at the recap this week. Um, so last week, we found ourselves back at midnight again. Uh, we keep ending up there. It's always midnight. Um, and then uh, woke up in the morning to Sandor missing suspiciously. There was some trails and bits and bobs of a dropped flask, a cracked open window, a piece of string, some footsteps in the snow. Uh, but first, uh, our wonderful mom's delight had to uh, unveil all of her secrets all over the lovely Maritza, who wasn't quite sure how to handle it. <laughs> um, they decided oh, they should take it, a break. Full panic <laughs> talking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have Sandor's cool for advice anymore. I just had Ransom's ice and Ipsis's honesty in it. Yeah. Oh. It did not work out very well. Clearly, we need Sandor back. Uh, however, Jess is not here again today, so probably won't happen this week. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I miss our trash barbarian so much. <laughs> oh, big shout out as well for Jess. Yeah, she can't be here tonight, unfortunately. Um, but do go and check her out. She's an amazing artist. Um, she runs she runs streams on her channel. She does uh, um, TTRPG content. She also does artwork. Um, it's all amazing. Uh, her her speciality brand is uh, Marriageable Husbands. Uh, go and check them out. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Um. And so then we wandered off into the snow, uh, into the woods, trying to find our uh, lost friend, but we stumbled instead upon a magical garden um, that looked like it was kind of different 
from different ages. It looked like it kept being built upon by different people at different times. Uh, we met a pixie who informed everyone that they were running late um, to some kind of event that they should have been at. Um, Eventually, we ran into Pony, who was a topiary living uh, triceratops. <laughs> um, and we ended up spending a little time being able to watch um, some of this game unfurl before our eyes um, between Tristan, uh, who we've met before, uh, the wonderful beautiful golden tiefling woman who we've also seen before um and a celestial being presiding as judge who was revealed to be ariel who was a monk that we have also met before um after some big reveals and some lore unva unveiling we discover um that tristan is trying to be helpful but is uh basically spelled against shedding too much light on the situation because that would just make it too easy um <laughs> he recommended talking to soren however we still have sandor missing um and i believe that's where we begin today so we are all standing in the garden um tristan has made some recommendations for what to do um maybe go back and talk to soren at midnight um, maybe keep hunting for the star, which he's not sure what it is, um, or at least can't tell you. Um, and you have some options. Well, ransom, ipsies. We're still a team member down and have more questions than answers. Yeah, you definitely have that right. Well, how do you eat an elephant? Uh, do people eat elephants? No, but hypothetically. If uh, you had to eat an slowly. elephant. Right? In small pieces. Handle the problem a piece at a time. Exactly. But where do we start? Good question. Well, I mean, if uh, Tristan suggests to go talk to Soren, then maybe we should just go back to midnight. If anything, maybe Sandor is just kind of out and about and he'll return back there whenever he's ready to come back. If not, then maybe we could find some other answers or maybe even head towards the star while we wait. I could try augury once we get back to midnight to oh, see if Sandra's in any that's kind of that's imminent that's danger. That could at least give us some guidance as what's the most important thing to tackle moving forward first. I think that would be pretty fair. Establish right. some sort of order of operations. Yeah. So, midnight again. It's always midnight. It's always midnight. Maybe we'll find Sandor in there. That would be nice. I well, can box his ears for scaring us half to death. <laughs> you really miss him, don't you, Ransom? I don't like being worried. You're worried, Ransom. I admitted last time that I care. I'm just, we had you know, this conversation. I I'm admitted it. Just We're here. Reinforcing it's, it's done. it just a little bit. Yes. I miss him. I care. I'm worried. And then if you tell him any of that, I'll throttle you. Can we please just go? This is exactly the face that Lance Delight is making. I know it is. <laughs> this is exactly the face he's making. Ipsis is in the back going like, why, 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 why? And he's just going to start walking. Ransom, if you're worried, I can always give you a hug. Later. So, heading back the way we came. 
I think so, yeah. <laughs> Back towards the, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the, the puppy. Uh, no, not the puppy. What do they call it? Pony. Pony! Pony! <laughs> <laughs> um, and so you, you are able to walk back through the garden um, you will notice however this time as you leave this section that you're in um, as you turn to look behind you it has faded away and it looks like behind you is just the woods um, the snow falling quietly on the ground um, but in front of you is the rest of the garden you're able to walk through um, if you would like to stop and say hello to Pony he is there kind of waiting for you emphatically the yes end of the garden yes 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 <laughs> we, we, we gotta we have to there's no choice and he, he's covered in pixies <laughs> who are kind of pulling at leaves and maybe decorating putting flowers in his on his <laughs> Head. <laughs> what do what do plant triceratopses eat? I'm just gonna go hug its tail and just like mm -hmm. pet its leaves, mm -hmm. and it like w w wiggles its tail. But as you hug it, it's like it wiggles softer. <laughs> From that garden we were just in, where all those flowers were growing, I guess the soil must be really, really fertile. And that's exactly the sort of thing that a plant triceratops would like to eat, right? So I will gather some fertile soil and <laughs> offer the fertile soil to Pony. <laughs> and what he does, he looks at it, as I imagine you're holding it up to like his face. <laughs> and he looks at it and he's not quite sure, but he kind of nuzzles some of it out of your hand and like knocks it on the ground and then puts his feet in it and as his his feet rest in the soil you see um some new leaves sprout up from his head <laughs> it makes it look like he's getting even bigger and it's like oh yes <laughs> i scritch the new flowers <laughs> fascinating so I wonder if the mouth is just technically to make him anatomically correct. And Ransom's just going to kind of pet his crest. <laughs> Say, Pony, do you want to give us a ride back up to the other end of the garden? And he'll kind of kneel down a little bit so he's easier to climb on top of. <laughs> we get to ride him again! <laughs> Sounds I'm like... climb up his back. <laughs> Ransom. And everybody, uh, and he kind of shakes a little, um, some of these new leaves settling into place. Um, ones that are kind of sticking out weirdly seem to fall to fold in on their own to fit the right shape. Um, and he turns around and like gets ready to go <laughs> and takes off. <laughs> and everybody has to roll that dex check for me. Dex check or save. <laughs> Uh, let's do a check. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Scott and Ray? You're muted, Scott. I don't have my character sheet open yet. I'm just finding it now. <laughs> oh, deck save. <laughs> Could I convince you that I'm trying to grip really, really hard and that it I might be a strength save? <laughs> <laughs> trying to think if there's anything for you to grip really, really hard onto. It's just a pile of leaves. I mean, there's, there's no flowers. <laughs> <laughs> um sure <laughs> we'll say you've got some viney reins up at the front <laughs> oh. and, <laughs> and ipsis and lons uh uh you guys manage to uh hold on just fine as uh Pony is taking off, but Ransom, I believe this is happening to you again. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have taken up the back 
and his tail is kind of wagging and it, it happens to be that you just kind of slide off the back and you end up riding kind of on the top of his tail and so you're just kind of you're still on the topiary dinosaur but you are getting rattled about quite a bit from the tail lashing back and forth and you kind of like Ugh. he's just gonna accept his fate <laughs> And, uh, and and you make it to the other side of the garden. And uh, and Pony kind of slides carefully to a stop at the, the other edge and sits down. Ransom, you kind of hit the ground. <laughs> I'll slide off the back, like almost like a slide down the tail. I continue to scratch the ears and Ransom gets a, a temporary HP. Uh, from Potato Hollow. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. Uh, and you guys can kind of climb off. And uh, you see the, the, the there had been several pixies that had kind of ridden along with you, all of them kind of <laughs> making all these kind of cheering noises. <laughs> sorry, Michael Wayne, not Potato Hollow. I'm so sorry, Michael. Oh, thank um, you. And uh, all these pixies seem to have had a great time. They they start bouncing up and down, kind of like again, 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 again. <laughs> um, as you all slide off of Pony, who uh, who just kind of waits patiently, as you're able to to kind of walk on. The if there's anything else you'd like to do. Goodest animal mm, scratches. <laughs> Plant. Wow, I've never missed species someone before. I suppose it wouldn't be inaccurate just to call him a plant beast. Meant in the best possible way. <laughs> a dino plant? Is that accurate at all? Sure. Uh, the goodest bean is recommended, and being as that can apply to both animal and plant. That works! <laughs> I like this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Potato Hollow gives you a point as well, Ransom. Oh, goodness gracious, golly. <laughs> Thank you. And you are able to continue on through the garden. Uh, you can wave behind you at Pony and the Pixies, um, who, as you walk through the next section, they fade from view. Um, but you can hear kind of as you're walking away, even though you can't see them anymore, you can hear kind of the yay! And the thudding of feet as they kind of run off the other direction and kind of get softer and softer. They are just having so much fun. <laughs> well, they don't have the things to worry about that we do, so power to them. Oh. Well, to midnight then? Or... Wait, are we outside yet, or do we still have one more garden? You have one more set, but you're able to just kind of walk through, and as you pass through the final arch, even the statues around you seem to disappear. Mm. You know... I suppose... No, go on, sorry. No, I was just supposed to midnight, but what do you think? I mean, I'm kind of surprised that midnight isn't here. It always seems to be, you know, you turn around and, oh, look, it's midnight. It's always midnight. I'm surprised that this isn't, like, the midnight beer garden or something. Maybe there's a limit or that it has to be a certain distance apart. For example, it was from dusk to the, ma to the other side of the mountain. Perhaps we're not far enough. Or perhaps there are set areas that it appears in. You have to enter an area to trigger the appearance. And we just haven't found that spot. If this was the Midnight Beer Garden, Ransom, punch me. <sighs> no, it's not midnight. No, it's not.
Head back out then, I suppose. Go back to the dusk one. Can we even get back out that way? Did anyone look at the the, the doorway when we left? I was just going to ask if it was even going to be there when we arrived. Or did it move already? That is also a good que question. In which case, we have no idea where Maritza or Marius are. Oh, they're quite capable. They're capable enough as performers. I don't know if they're capable enough as adventurers. There's a reason they asked us to accompany them. Oh, I've lost them. We'll find them again. That? We'll Wait. find them again. Exactly. You don't know that. Don't be so hard on yourself, Lance. But then I have to fine. talk to her again as well, and we all seen how that goes. And yet, somehow, she's still endeared by you. Is she? Hey. Last time she decided she needed to take a break. Because you dumped like... literally every possible truth you could have onto her. But okay. she did. But she said a break. She didn't cut you off. There is a difference. We should find I her. think either way, she'll be fine, and we'll regather and regroup and, and go from there. But to be really honest, I think our first priority should be Sandor. And trying to figure out, hopefully before we switch or something switches again, that we find him. Or maybe he switched without us. Oh, that would be a problem. Could that even happen? Can one person switch out? I mean, they switched the four of us without apparently switching the entirety of the town of Dawn, I think. Like, the people in it, not necessarily the citizens. So maybe. Oh, well. Either way, maybe we should try and find at least some place to sit and kind of regroup. Yeah. If I not, cast that spell. Yeah. I mean, I don't we need know to if. Figure out the stupid game too. No, it's not stupid. It's fascinating. This game is utterly fascinating. And if it wasn't at a, such a complicated time, I would be enthralled. But I'm just more annoyed than anything else at the moment. I mean, I don't think I have any of. I don't think any of Mother's gifts would help me transport places but when i did use the gifts on that angel um the one that you know um you know she teleported so maybe if i used it on us too we would be moved somewhere but probably not midnight let's let's just put that on the back burner for now okay backup plan i use evil warlock magic on people there you go. Compromise. I don't really like to use it. Well then, like Ransom said, back burner plan. There's got to be something else that we can figure out. Some other slightly more useful plan. <sighs> Let's just find a place to sit and regroup for a moment and then we'll see what my spell uncovers and perhaps I could do it twice. We could ask about Sandor and then we could ask about this great game. Yeah, because that's another big giant question mark. I'm still kind of confused as to why we got chosen to bring some sort of end to it or figure out a winner. You and Sandor You and Sandor have ties to previous winners. We, we learned yeah. that we learned that from the garden and from the runes. I don't know about myself in Lawn's Delight. Could have been just the right place, the right time. Could be that she's tied to her demonic mother who might have a tie and I'm tied to my patron who definitely wants us involved due to the vis visions that she sent me. I should have asked when we were with them if they knew any of like my relations, if any of them were in this crazy game thing. We didn't see any of your relations on the wall or in the statues, so somehow I don't think so. Oh, that's good. But perhaps if your 
mother has made multiple warlock pacts in the past, perhaps one of her warlocks has. Oh no. I but I mean My father used to boast that she would usually kill her lovers. I mean that's a lover, not a patron. Or well, that's how pact. he You know, that's how he got the pact was Oh. They Oh. Well then. Oh mm -mm. And then my pact was for my sister. So he did it twice. Hi, Achiva, I guess. Well, I mean, you still could have some sort of tie that's maybe not related to your mom. Unless that's the more highly likely situation. She'll just like pat Lon's on the shoulder. It also could just be that the gods have taken an interest in you, Lon's Delight, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. That's how I gained my powers. How did that happen, if you don't mind me asking? Like, does that happen, like, when you're a baby? Or does uh, that happen when you're, like, a kid or a teenager? I was I was a kid. Uh, my circumstances led to me needing to study very often, uh, as it kept me out of the way. And I happened upon texts of the Raven Queen. They resonated. I went to one of her temples to pray and ended up being a bound cleric to her. It's nothing overly dramatic. That sounds quite oh, yeah, fun. Like... Sounds like an apprenticeship or any other normal sort of way of life. Yeah. An apprenticeship. That's a good way to put it, I think. It's not an, an exceedingly close relationship. She and I almost never talk. Every now and then she'll send me feelings, and she sent me now two visions, I think, which is more than I've ever gotten in the past, which makes this quite interesting, but it kind of just is. So you save all of your feelings talk for your god? That's so wonderful. Sure, let's let's go with that. Ipsis, don't you think Ransom is just like a, like a, a stop, like a a tiered birthday cake? You think you found all the layers and then you cut into another one and there's so many colors inside, and it looks yeah. so dry from the outside. She's never gonna stop. You do have a point, Ella. The... She's never gonna stop. It's never gonna stop. No, no, it won't. And it's just something you're gonna have to learn to live with, Ransom. I've mm. I mean, I from the beginning. It only gets better from here. Just accept it. I think our definitions of better are different. It's okay, Ransom. Ipsis was a hard case once, too. Yeah. I um, have doubts. No, I wasn't difficult. I was just adventurous. I just couldn't be in the same place for more than... 10 minutes without running away or doing something crazy or getting lost in some sort of tangent so I got lost a lot and then a, you have a playful soul I guess I do but I find your story really interesting Ransom truly um, I don't know if I told you this but I was told when I was a kid that uh, for some reason the thieves guild stole me from the steps of a temple. So uh, maybe if they didn't do that, I could have been a cleric too. You never maybe. know. Maybe. I just find it interesting, those who have a patron or a god or a deity. I wonder what it's like to like talk to somebody that nobody else can see. He kind of reaches up to fiddle with the coin that has the raven feathers that Sylvanas made. And you just kind of, it's interesting. Not that it just looks horrified for a second. 
Unless you're Lawn's Delight, in which case it was done in the worst possible circumstances, and... Good gods, I'd like to curse your father. Anyway. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, and she'll, like, turn and, like, kind of, like, like, bow and, like, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to say, like, a good thing. I just am interested oh, in how those things happen. You are fine. So, uh, sitting and spell doing, where would you like to head to do that, Ransom? Just anywhere quiet that I can sit for a few moments. Maybe we could do it near Pony. I think Pony's already gone. I bet if I whistle really loud. Woods. Sorry, say again. Behind you, the garden has faded. That's just woods. Oh. We have our memories. I suppose this will do just fine, though. And he'll just kind of drop to sit where he's sitting, where he's standing. Lonsdite will sit directly in front of Ransom, knees almost touching. A little bit more space. I need to be able to have room for the cards. Oh, okay. Thank you. Conveniently, as Lons kind of scoots back, it also clears like a spot of snow, so there's like grass underneath. <laughs> Perfection. Oh, 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 a little bit cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did that to yourself. Oh um, no, it's running. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna melt a little, little damp <laughs> under the uh, tiefling skin there. So, as a ritual, I would like to cast augury. Um, and he's using his tarot cards. Um, and the question. Hmm, the question is specifically if Sandor is in imminent danger. Um, the cards give you a meh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you kind of um, look since you are using tarot cards, I believe before I kind of gave you a little bit more information than what this provides um, to flavor yeah. for your cards. Yeah. Um, you get the idea that um, it kind of depends on what Sandor chooses to do. Um, but there's, it seems like there's a lot of decisions that have not been made yet that would determine how much direct danger Sandor is in or not. But it's not, uh, you don't feel this imminent pressure. It's not clear that he's like on the verge of death or something. He's not bleeding out somewhere. No. <laughs> he's not okay. like actively dying somewhere. <laughs> okay, so he kind of draws the three cards. Um, kind of stares at them for a moment. Well, could be worse. Could have been the tower. Could be better. Could be worse. And start shuffling them back together. He's got decisions in ahead of him. And that's going to determine how well he's going to continue to remain in the next imminent future. But he's not dead in a ditch. As, um... As Ransom is collecting up the cards, can Lonsdalite like, pick one up? Yeah! My cards. <laughs> if Ransom will let Lons do this. I'm- I'm- I'm not trying to, like, influence the ritual, but if I did, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can probably grab one. He kind of pauses and looks at you. These are pretty. Thank you. Scrat, roll, flip a coin for me. What did you do? <laughs> what have you done? Um, ransom. 
you notice that um, the card that Lon's Delight has selected um, you would had someone chosen this card in the in a reading you would expect them um, you would tell them that they were going to have a very difficult decision ahead the kind of decision that defines who a person is oh you can share that information with Lance Delight if you want or not um and how well you trust that that means anything or not he he he, he does um yeah, I think Lonsdalette might have even drawn it from the deck rather than taking one that you'd already laid down. <laughs> That's the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, it's very pretty. Drawing it means something. All He kind of holds the deck up. Every card means something, and drawing one always means something. And the fact that you drew that card means that there's going to be some very defining moments coming for you. Oh. Very steep decisions. It's There's going to be change. Lon's like, scoots closer again. Can I draw another one? Give me the card. Shuffles the deck. Holds it up. It just will come to, like, sit super close and kind of, like, hover over. Monster like looks at the top and then like sort of moves her hand along and picks the fifth card down. Okay. I like five. Do you want me to do this, Kelly? Or do you want to have the meaning? Because I know what each of the cards means. Because I do, I do tarot. So if you want to, you're muted. Muted. And I don't. So if you can give me a feeling that you want the card to portray, yes. I can, can tell, tell you what you card it is. The card, yep. Yes. Um, hmm. I had a, a good starting one for Launch Delight, but picking a second one is tricky. I'm so sorry. I am an agent of chaos. Here's a tip. <laughs> yes. um, another one that's good for change is death. Which, because with tarot, death very rarely means death. Um, death means an element of change. Um, the tower is the card you never want to pull, because <laughs> um, that means destruction. Um, um, the wheel of fortune means change as well. One, uh, I think the next one would um, indicate some kind of loss. Loss. Um... <sighs> like grief? Grief could work. Um, five of cups. Oh, this the one's five pretty. Of cups. Look at all the teacups. Uh. Oh, that... and it was the fifth card, and I drew a five. This must be good luck, right? The f- the five of cups is the card of grieving and generally means that something has or will be lost. Oh. However, I... we we will be with you through it. Oh, no, that's okay. We lost Sandor, so this is kind of like already happened. That's true. I'll put it back on top of the deck upside down. All right. Ipsis, do you want one? Uh, Sure. Let's just do one, though. Shuffle the deck. Hold it out. I'll pick the third card from the bottom. Okay. Kelly, what kind of feeling do you want to portray? Um, Ipsis would get the, the death card. So drastic change. No, drastic change. Okay. Uh, so basic, you pull an undead horseman uh, upon a black horse. Um, That's the card for death. It does not mean you're going to die. It means that there's some form of drastic change that's going to be occurring in your life. 
the death card gets a pretty bad rap. But it's okay. not as bad. It's not. Well, then I shall be prepared for change. That's what the tarot cards do. They help you to prepare for what's coming for you. That's why I like them so much. Well, I appreciate you letting me pull a card. It was actually quite fun, despite getting that sort of weird omen. Um, he's going to take the card back. And I'm going to flip a coin because I want to see if he's going to maybe pull one for himself. How the heck do you roll a d2? <laughs> Slash R space 1d2. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to shuffle it and pull the one directly from the middle. On the spot tarot readings is testing me as a DM. Um, <laughs> good. I'm enjoying it. It's a good. It's a good. Te- good time to test. Um, it's testing me on my, how well I remember what each card is for. So hey, okay. this is great. I'm usually um, Google searching by like mad by this point in the game. You're doing wonderful, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. I'm trying to think of where I imagine arcs going, which is tricky. <laughs> um, uh, Ransom, your card is um, more about, like, revelation. Revelation. So, like, new understanding or um, kind of, like, removal of a veil. Okay, so... Maybe... Now I'm trying to... Now now you're testing me! Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, I think with this revel, you say revelation, so like dis- discovery, kind of. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's gonna that's gonna be the page of wands. Um, yeah, that would be the page of wands. So he kind of looks at it. I don't know if this soothes me or settles me, and sets it back, and then. What 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 did yours say? Um discovery is imminent. What kind? I don't know. You can't get a sense of good or bad or <sighs> Like you were like mine is loss but grieving loss, which is how we're all feeling about Sandor. Maybe it could be good loss, like oh no, you've lost that trinket that you've been carrying around for 20 years I recently went to like getting rid of stuff like that I feel so much better <laughs> do I get a feeling of a good or a bad discovery or do it, does it just feel like it could go either way Um, if anything you don't get this feeling of good or bad but rather of um relief Welcome, Tales from the Grim with the Raid! Oh, hi, everyone! Okay, so... He's gonna kind of shuffle the deck again and put it in the little belt pouch that he keeps it in. I think... I think it might be good for me in some way, sense, or form, so... Maybe we'll have some good luck. We all seem to have some pretty big meaning card reading, I will say that. Yeah. Also, hello, Raiders! Hi! Kind of exciting. The cards tell truths. And sometimes they're not ones that you want to hear, but they're ones that you need to hear. 
Well, this was fun. What do we do now? Now we decide what we're doing. I can't Fine. Reading. Did you have a second question you had wanted to ask? The issue is I'm not entirely sure how to phrase it so that it'll fit the parameters of the spell. Okay, you know what? No, here's one. Um, will heading towards the, the star shed light on our situation? Um, and for that, you get decidedly a good feeling. Good feeling, okay. Mm -hmm. So the star is apparently a good way to head for information and answers. Well, then it seems obvious which way we should go. Indeed. So, as you aim to head to the star, mm -hmm. then, how do you um, do that? So before, you before you had a good view of where the star was, because um, you were kind of up on the cliff side and you could see the forest below, you could see the damage um, to the tree line. Mm -hmm. Right? Just gaping wounds. But now you're kind of in the middle of the woods. Mm. Um, so, like are you intending friend. to just kind of walk in the direction that you know it was in? Kind of use your basic northwest, north, south, east, west understanding? Um, do you plan to try and find somewhere that you recognize and go from there? What is your method of tracking? Well, As we develop this survival. tracking, thank you, Laugh, Love, Lindy. Welcome, Raiders. More Raiders. More Raiders. A second raid. Thank you, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're, we're, we've just done a card reading, and now we're trying to figure out where the bloody hell we are in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like has been happening a lot on Mondays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spiritually and realistically. <laughs> uh, perhaps we can just make a survival check. You know, moss always grows on the north side of the snow and all that sort of business. Yeah, I'd say a survival yeah, check. Yeah, so if, if you're just using your kind of instincts, that's why I would say it's like a survival check. Yeah. Uh, and... Ipsis, you want to help? <laughs> I would love to. What do you need me to do? <laughs> to help me look for the direction of north so that maybe Kelly would, lo would love me and give me advantage. <laughs> Absolutely. You can have I'm going to just lay on my back <laughs> and look at the stuff. Sure. <laughs> Hell Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, so you are able to make your way um, essentially north towards what you vaguely remember being that um, gaping wound in the forest floor um, that you had seen from above. Um, and you... Uh, kind of just head in that direction um, and you eventually hit the edge of this uh, kind of crater and it looks like um, you've almost hit the, the landing point. Basically it looks like something came down and hit the ground and then skid through the forest um, with a great deal of power behind it. Kind of the trees on either side are blown back, knocked over. Um, the ground actually has like a big gash in it. Um, Roll perception. No, roll a nature check. Somebody roll a nature check for me. I will. I would have been doing something survivally anyway, so nature makes sense. Even though I am not as good at it. <laughs> hey. 16, not bad. Um, so... You, uh, the first thing you notice in this, uh, gash is, it is 
large. It is also very even and very straight, very almost unnatural looking. Um, as if something had kind of, if a meteorite had kind of struck the ground, if you imagine it would be more kind of wonky, um, essentially. But this looks kind of very, very perfect, almost. Um, and it, it also, you don't see the kind of heat signature that you would get from something that had just burned halfway up through the atmosphere. You would imagine when it hit the ground, there would be some degree of heat. The, maybe the snow would be melting around this space, something like that. Yeah, glassed um, rocks, anything like that? Sort of. No. It, it looks like something fell hard and hit the ground here, um, but it doesn't read meteorite to you or star. It's this the kind of thing that you would expect to see. This does not look like the star. Look at it. It looks like someone did this with a ruler. It's so straight. Does that mean that the star fall wasn't real? Because this was the only... We definitely went the right way. If you remember what you saw, to refresh everyone's memory, it's just out of character. Thank um, you. Much appreciated. What you saw that night was there was a meteor shower the night of the festival there were falling stars meteor shower around you um but very suddenly there was one bright streak of light kind of almost a blinding flash of light um that you could watch hit the ground across the mountain um but it wasn't it didn't match the rest of the meteor shower Oh. It was just bright light and something hitting the ground. So it wasn't like something entering the atmosphere and burning up and all that. It was just a bright light. Hmm. So it wasn't a star at all, perhaps, but something completely other. Do you think it could have been a person? That's terrifying. Let's find, let's follow the scorch marks and find out. Do you know, I'm looking at this uh, trench cut. And I really wish we had something like, I don't know, a cart or something that we could just start rolling down. Ignore me. Sometimes I get... Let's go, shall we? After you. I'll lead. Um, and are you guys basically walking in the trench? I'd assume so. Okay. Um, and you're able to follow this kind of straight line. So you have been going, um, you left at breakfast time. Um, it is probably getting dim outside. I would say um, you, you, the garden took all day um, and you've been walking for quite a while and following this, it is starting to get dark. Um, it's not dark yet, but the sun is beginning to set um, at the end of the day. But you're able to continue to follow this uh, for quite a while. Is there anything you would like to do or look for while you're walking, or are we just kind of going to head straight there? Either is fine. What do we think we'll find if it wasn't a meteorite? Ransom? Ipsis? Uh, I don't know. It could be a creature. It could be a person. It could be... An energy source. Yeah. It could be oh. something that's not even from this plane. <gasps> oh, it could be a, like a magic item from a celestial plane. Maybe we'll find like a really nice sword or a shield or something. Possibly. That's a possibility. <laughs> what if it's like an egg? And like, it's like a creature, and we can raise it from a baby and make it our own. Celestial pet, come on! That could Who wouldn't be want one? Interesting. It's at least better than a person. I feel like if a person fell from the sky, that would be terrifying. Also, probably something that's out to kill us all. More than likely. What about you? What do you think it is, Lons? I don't know. 
I hope it's nothing to do with my mother. That's pretty I much imagine, what I don't imagine that a demon or a devil would result in, you know, burning light falling from the sky if she's as evil as you seem to say. I don't know, it sounds kind of close to raining sulfur to me. Uh, I think it'd be more hellfire from below. Maybe. Either way, do you feel it's a strong enough connection to be something your mother would do? Ooh, can I roll a check? Can or I... is it? Hmm? Can I roll yeah. a check? If you're feeling like this is like a, a, a mom effect. Uh, would it be mom insight, so mom. insight, religion, straight wisdom? I feel um, like it'd be insight. I think insight sounds right to me because you're trying to kind of get a feel. My third eye opens. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you think about your mother, you You don't think about someone who's quite so indirect. She's very direct with her actions and her choices and her statements. Um, she doesn't leave anything to question or chance. Um, she's more interested in making a strong deal, negotiating, um, having the upper hand. Uh, she She always operates from a place of knowing more than anyone else and knowing that she knows how to work people. So something that is this out of control and is this um, that could be this far up to chance doesn't seem like her signature. Do I get any inkling of what it might be? Um, I wouldn't normally ask but on the feeling particularly insightful as Lonsdalite is. Yes. Um... This whole idea of a celestial object isn't that far off. Um, you feel like this is, you are in clearly a, a pocket dimension that is a playground of the gods, a celestial delivery. Uh, doesn't seem that too far off, but the idea of like a weapon doesn't feel quite right. Hmm. You know, it's a bonus in a video game. Yeah, I don't think it is anything to do with my mother. I think that maybe this whole game thing that we've been hearing about is literally a race to the prize, and maybe this prize is some kind of item, like uh, perhaps a crown that makes you the ruler of the demiplane or something. Or we get trapped into the great game. Or we get trapped into the great game. Either way, forward we go. Hi ho. <laughs> and you walk along this path. Um, and find yourself eventually in the middle of a large crater essentially, um, where it looks like whatever was sliding has stopped. Um, and in the center, you see something glowing. This is somehow anticlimactic. What do you think it is now? I have absolutely no idea. Do we get closer or is it going to kill us? What do you think? Because at this point, I'm just well, can I can I start stealthing towards the object? I will hunker if down at all possible. behind my shield, reasonably close, and gesture for Ransom to get behind me. Nice and close now, Ransom. I get behind Lonsdalite with my own shield as well. <laughs> you know, one of us could have given a shield to Ipsis. It would slow her down. What, is she in a hurry? 
she's stealthing and being careful, it would weigh her it would weigh her down. And if she needs to get out of the way quickly. But your shield is so small, I don't think it would give it disadvantage on stealth. Ipsis catch! <laughs> oh, uh, okay! And then I'll just like turn around and like it probably like smacks me in the chest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You can accept that fail all you want. <laughs> yeah, will, definitely. It was not prepared. But I will I will wield it. It growls, it barks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um Neighbors. He's, it's funny to me, because he's growling, but he's laying perfectly content on a throne of pillows. <laughs> nice. Um, and so, as you uh, walk towards this, Ipsis, roll that stealth check for me. Yo, oh boy. Yay. Thank you for the re-roll, Val. <laughs> And uh, you're able to kind of walk very carefully up onto this glowing object, and what you see in front of you is, um, yay big. In fact, I'd say it's something like, yay big. Oh. Is it a box? Just like a glowing box? Nope. It's a book. Oh. One of the greatest things in the universe. A book. Indeed. Can I see if there's a title on the book? Um, so you, you haven't touched it yet, have you? You just No, I'm it. just I'm just looking. So actually I'm gonna take three steps back. <laughs> And I'm going to cast Mage Hand to just poke the book. I don't want it to pick it up. I don't want it to open it. I just want it to poke it to see what it does. And I'm going to be back far enough where I can kind of like react if I need to be before I even go any closer. Image of like Lons almost holding Ransom close peering around the shield. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ransom's like trying to lean forward because book, book, book. <laughs> Holding Ransom back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you're you maybe five or ten feet away, I guess, Ipsis. Yeah. Um, and you reach out a mage hand. This book is glowing, which is about all you can tell from your distance at this point. Um, and you poke it with the stick. <laughs> Everybody roll me a constitution check. Save. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it myself. Oh no. Can't everybody oh, no. Save? Okay, yeah. We all have lots of rerolls, and I'm using one. I'm using one. I would, yeah. I don't think that's enough. I'll take that. Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna give Can you I another get... one, Ipsis. Can I... Yeah, no. Oh, get... Okay. Ipsis, okay. take another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, back I have my started. original roll back. I'm fine. It's <laughs> fine. Um, and uh, Ransom and Lons, you are pretty far back, and so as you are able to get a pretty clear vision of what happens. Oh God! Um, as this mage hand pokes this book, you see this light radiating out of it, and it feels um warm not hot warm like comforting warm like laying on a beach kind of warm um but it is a wave of power that releases from this book and knocks you flat on your back both of you are knocked prone uh, however, Ipsis, when this slams into you, you are unprepared for this, and you are so very, very close that not only does it knock you back, um, but it knocks you back hard. Oh no. Oof. 
and you take five points of damage as you are thrown against the wall of this crater, and you actually pass out. Oh, shit! Um, but what is very obvious to the two that are still, uh, standing, relatively speaking, um, you, what you experience instead is you actually notice that this wave of energy spreads out far from beyond this crater. There are actually tree branches that fall down. There are um, birds and animals around you that all spook at the same time and fly out of the woods. Um, they all panic and run in the opposite direction. But once that initial wave passes, everything seems fine. Okay. And the book isn't glowing anymore. Okay. Uh, Ransom rockets up. Lon's like, get Ipsis. We just sent a huge beacon that we're here. Ipsis! He's gonna go for the book. Oh, no. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> no. He's going. Lon, Delight, are you active? What? It, what? How does this look? I'd like to are grapple. You, you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grapple Ransom. I'm gonna grapple gonna Ransom. Go nope. Nope. I'm gonna fight that. I'm grappling. How do I fight that? I don't remember. It. It's a uh, opposed strength check. Strength, right? Uh, I. I make or, a grapple with an athletics roll. Ransom may combat that with athletics or acrobatics. I <laughs> would definitely okay. like it to be acrobatics. Just okay. Gonna- Son of a bitch! Careful, Ransom! I'm on. not going Grat, to touch- Reroll for me. <gasps> oh! Ha! Huh. Reroll no! it again. Mm. No! <laughs> I burned two of my DM rerolls, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> thank you! <laughs> I love Excellent. you. You said roll if I do say so myself. <laughs> yep. Lon's delight still throws herself at ransom, just missing, I guess, as you use acrobatics to dodge out of the way and she falls in the dirt. Yeah. Like, no, ransom, be careful, please. I'm going to be careful, but that thing just sent out a beacon. Get Ipsis. I, um... And he's going to go for the book. Not touch it yet. Um, And you're not going to touch it yet. Not yet. He's gonna stop in front of it. Does it still feel like it's emanating power? Um, it it feels um powerful, but mm-hmm. it doesn't have that same rating. Like it's not glowing. It doesn't feel like it's radiating it, anything. It definitely feels like it it released some a lot of what it was holding. Okay. Ipsis is back not, not Ipsis. Sorry, Lon's delight's gonna look torn between chasing after ransom and looking at Ipsis, who's like just received some damage. And, um... And is also unconscious. Ah, she's gonna go and get <laughs> Ipsis, and much like Zarya hefting her gun, is just gonna pick Ipsis up, like, one hand on her thigh, other hand on, like, her, her, her shoulder, and just, like, flip her up into her arms, and just start running. Um, <laughs> uh, important question, Scrat, where are you running to? <laughs> or in what direction? <laughs> I am heading northeast. <laughs> okay. He's just leaving? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you Her are running... just stands there like this. <laughs> and, and, and so the mountain is behind you. And you are running kind of this way. <laughs> like. <laughs> yes. Lom's light! What? You said to get Ipsis. I'm getting her safe and that clear. That doesn't mean run away! <laughs> He's... Do I get the sense that the book is going to hurt me? I oh, get yay. the sense that the book is going to hurt you. I know, but uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Do I get the sense that it's gonna hurt me? Um, roll something. Do you want insight or perception? Um, you could do mm, perception or arcana. We're gonna do perception. That's or better. religion. 
How's my religion? I'm a cleric. It, it, mm -hmm. it would be nice if it was good, but it's not. So we're going to do perception. <laughs> I'm going to use my last reroll on that. That's still sucky, but we're going to take it. Um, You feel like a lot of the power of it is gone. It's definitely not writing the same kind of oomph as it was before. Mm -hmm. You can probably pick it up. But that's all you got. He's going to pick it up. I mean, it feels warm to the touch. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're carrying a a purple. Well, it's it's a leather bound book. Mm -hmm. Um, tied closed with like a purple ribbon. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's no. It's it doesn't look like a a a book. It's not. It's a, there's no title. Mm -hmm. It's not hard bound. Um, it looks like a journal of some kind. Okay. I'm going to stuff it into my pack and take off after them. Okay. I cannot believe you! Um. And you guys are running off into the woods. <laughs> Apparently! <laughs> Apparently! <laughs> um important question do you plan to just run till you get tired run till you see something run till you're a set distance away i will run I have no and, idea i will run until i am 20 30 feet into the trees okay i think that's a big enough blast radius and then i'll look back to see if ransom explodes <laughs> um so you are running off into the trees um, and you're able to kind of look back through the tree cover um, and you see Ransom pick up this book and kind of start to jog after you. But he doesn't uh, explode. And to the unconscious Ipsis, she didn't explode Ipsis. He didn't explode Ipsis. <sighs> <sighs> He's going to run up to you and he just gives you a look. Ipsis, you start to come too. <laughs> yeah, gently shaking. Oh, uh, uh, what happened? What happened? Where are we? The book exploded and now you're okay. The book didn't explode. The magical energy around it protecting it did. Ah, see? That's why I didn't want to go look at it myself. I'm glad that I decided against it. Although I didn't okay? back up far enough, so are I'll remember okay? that. I'm okay. My head's a little fuzzy, but no, I mean... Besides that, I'm okay. I don't have like another appendage or anything, do I? No. No. You're fine. I imagine like you're being know. quite comfortably cradled at the minute as well. Like... Uh, th thanks, Lons. Did uh, you care? You carried me. She did. Thank you. And I'll like hug her around her neck and just mm -hmm. kind of like whip myself out of her arms. Yep. So what? What? Is it? Did you? Did anyone get close? Be careful! Don't read it. It might be full of demons. He opens the pouch and shows them that he has it. I'm going to end up reading this. All right. So then we should probably go find somewhere to do that. Then. I imagine midnight is the best place. We can lock ourselves in a room, and you two can make sure I don't suddenly become possessed. But this supposedly has our answers. I, we need those answers. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go back to midnight. I'm sorry for spooking you, Lon's Delight. It's okay. Just don't do it again. I can't promise that. Foolish boy. How old are you? Old enough. So am I. Okay, Lonstar looks affronted. <laughs> <laughs> so did he when you called him boy. Anyway, <laughs> onwards. So are you trying to head back to midnight? Is that what we've decided? I think so. Somebody roll that survival check to see if you can... Now that you've dashed into the woods. <laughs> uh, I could. I have a plus three. 
I have a plus four. Yeah. I can try and help you again. Please help me. Then I will help you. Survival? Yeah. Yes. I've got a plus five. Oh, well, you do it and we help you. <laughs> we will all help you. <laughs> I've been sitting on that plus five for a while, but just letting Ransom do stuff. <laughs> uh, do I get advantage? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> that um, means I'm rolling all lucky sevens. <laughs> <laughs> so... You begin walking in the direction that you believe that midnight is in. Um, there's a spot where there's like looking around and you're like, all oh, these trees kind of look the same. <laughs> and it's getting dark. It's, it's dark at this point as you're walking. Um, and you begin to hear the trees again. Oh no whispering out for you. Oh no. Hello. 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 No, Hello. aren't we supposed to not talk to them? That's the snow. Oh. Hello, tree. Oh, hello, caregiver. Sorry? The caregiver. Oh. She has a title. Hello, spy. Oh, gods. <laughs> <laughs> Scrat! I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Something spy gives me the caregiver. Who is she? Pointed Ipsis. Ipsis, do you say anything? Uh, I'm just gonna say hello. 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 Hi. Hi fun performer. Oh, a per performer. They know us by titles. Oh, is that necessarily good? Oh I no. Have. I have we, no idea. We've been wrapped into a prophecy. I've been telling you this. Where's I've the been wonder? saying this. The what? Sam. He likes to roam around. He goes from place to place. He never stays in one. Um, Sandor, we don't know. No, oh, no. Do you? No. Not here. Uh, not here anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere? Mm. Like, we don't see the wanderer. How I mean, far not can on you see for? Mm -hmm. We see everywhere. Everywhere there's trees. So, the whole plain where dusk is and you don't see him at all you don't see the wanderer what if he was tilted back his footprints stopped at that statue what if he's back in dawn that's what I feared the first time how the, hell do, how the hell do we get back you know, this game. do you believe there's power in words? Yes. That's, that was my job. Yes. There's always power in words. Well, did you notice how we got into dusk? The world tilted. We fell. Dusk. Yes, we... Dusk falls. So what, we need to rise? No. Dawn breaks. Oh, gods. And how do you recommend we break? I don't, but I'm suddenly very worried about Sandor. Oh, no. Oh, gods. 
Was he that statue? No, it it didn't. No, he, no. Hang on a minute. Did it was wearing fancy clothes? Sandor sometimes wears fancy clothes. Uh, it might have been human. Can I do a history check? I want to see if I think that the statue was 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 Sandor. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I'm choking on the plant. My players. <coughs> <laughs> Um, sure. <laughs> oh, Sandor's dead. Oh, God. It was oh. Sandor the statue. No, no, that doesn't... We were all you chosen... Ones. <laughs> we were all chosen for this prophecy. There's no way he's just dead, just like that, without even a bang. What did the prophecy say about him? It... We don't even know. All we know is that we were chosen for this game. It didn't say anything. Oh, no. We don't know what the prophecy said. We do know that we were all chosen to stop this game. And everyone has expressed concern that he's not with us. Which means... He has to be somewhere. He has to be. Poor Sandor. He was so careful and loving. And now he's probably like lying somewhere, broken. Stop! Or, or maybe he the just cards, lost all his money. Maybe he's just the broke. The cards didn't say that. The cards said he was probably okay, but he had choices coming up. I'll they be... don't lie. You don't think somebody found him that wasn't supposed to find him, do you? That was my fear from the start! Well, because he had fancy clothes and he was always running and all that it just makes me seem like maybe something finally caught up to him and or maybe he was stolen away if his footprints just stopped at that statue what if it's some celestial being that has some issues with him and was just like hey, come with us and just like took him i don't know I don't know. But I refuse to just think that he's dead. Maybe at least, I mean, I, I'm suddenly very concerned. You said words have power, and I'm fairly certain that the statue was Sandor. Or at least a depiction of Sandor. I don't, I don't. <sighs> Thank you, Snowdogs, for the 200 bits to save Sandor. <laughs> <laughs> New hashtag yeah. trending in chat. Can we can we get that trending? Get it trending on Twitter. Make uh make just see it. I don't know what Sam was doing in the background, but that was totally hilarious. <laughs> um, so are we still heading towards midnight? I was just gonna see if I could potentially make a survival check to see if we're going in the right direction still. Yeah, because Lanza has seemingly lost her mind. Yeah, and Ransom is getting very uneasy. These lucky 13s got me feeling some type of way today. Seriously. <laughs> Better um, than Lanza Light's 12. You guys seem to be going in the right direction. Oh, God. I mean, the... The big gash in the floor is behind you. You know, you're going vaguely south. Seems about right. Ah, uh, yes, um, vaguely south. The best kind of direction. <laughs> since it's getting dark, could I, since it's a cantrip, could I just use, like, a real quick, not like an insane firebolt, but since I have that ability, can I just, like, light up a python that I have? For some torch light. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Then like while we're walking and stuff, I'll just like take a like a torch out of my bag and kinda light it up to give us some extra light. I know we can all see it in the dark, but still, just to kinda make our presence known. We're gonna end up getting tilted again. And the trees just keep whispering at you. Um but then they all kind of stop. And they go, Shh. Wait for it. 
Can you feel it? I don't want to wait for it. Oh no! Ransom grabs onto both of the girls. I was just gonna say, can we, can we, like, hunker down or like grab a shield? Or, like, Shields up. And the ground begins to shake. Shields We're gonna fucking tilt again. We're gonna fucking tilt again. <laughs> I knew it. And you see in front of you another one of those tears. Oh no. Oh no. And this What's one is big. And it is right in front of the three of you. Oh no. And Ransom, this time, not only do you recognize the city, but as you see the city begin to crumble under the earthquake that is clearly happening there, you have a sense of panic wash over you as you know that that city is where you left Sylvanas. No, no, he he lunges for it. He what? No! The contest! Grapple! No! <laughs> contest it! <laughs> Let's yeah. do this again! <laughs> yeah. Can I give Lon's uh, advantage by, like, helping to heave? <clears throat> sure. Oh, God. <sighs> you roll well, but not today. <clears throat> And you are able to wrap your arms around Ransom, who is fighting against you. He is fighting um, like a wildcat. Before, the cracks seem to kind of come and go rather quickly. Um, Ipsis, you remember even the one that you saw was open long enough for you to be able to see, and then it closed. This one, however, seems to keep getting bigger. And in fact, if you look deeper into the woods, you see others that seem to persist all to the same you place. You have to let me go. Why? What is the what what are you doing? That's where Sylvanus is. Sylvanus? What does that got to do with anything? It's crumbling. It's collapsing and that's where he is. Who is Sylvanus? My 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 brother, my friend. Oh, your brother, your friend? He jerks at the cha- the coin that's on his horn. Ipsis, come on, let's go. Okay. okay. And are we all diving? Yeah, I thought you were diving for a lover. Family. No! <laughs> Family! <laughs> I don't take lovers! Sure. I know he's diving through. Um, and everyone who is diving through, uh, roll, uh, acrobatics check to see how well you land on the other side. Taking it, he's too panicked to be careful. How's Lon's land? Acrobatics? Mm-hmm. I can't convince you it's maybe a superhero landing so I can land with athletics? Not again. It's tough on the knees. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, we've, we've played this game a couple of times. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's not so tough on the knees. <laughs> uh, Ransom takes one point of damage as he hits the ground pretty hard. There goes uh, one of my temp HP. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um... And you guys feel this warm as you slide through. You feel almost a pressure on you and then like a pop as you hit the other side and it feels kind of like relief. Um, Almost like um, if you've ever gone too deep underwater and you feel the pressure on your ears and, and on your lungs. And then when you get that breath of air again, you feel like you can breathe freely that same kind of feeling as you go through this space. Who went through last? Ipsis. Yeah. Ipsis, as you go through, you hear the trees one more time. Just bring them up. And I just said, the world, whole world is falling apart. And you have to end these games. You have to find the wanderer. As you jump through. The 
the second he hits the ground, Ransom's off and running. He knows where the forge is. And I'm, I'm just following at this point. Um, and each of you are going to have to make um, another um, check for me. Another uh, acrobatics check as you are ducking and weaving and trying to get through this world that is crumbling around you. Okay. And if I was to maybe try and grab the debris... <laughs> <laughs> could I just raise my shield and make it a athletics? Yeah, because of the shield. You can be blocking the falling rock with the shield instead of See. trying to dodge it. Let's see how magnificent a DM Kelly is. I'm We're gonna sitting see. here being difficult and she's walking that line with me. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so you're able to take hits of this like falling rock as these buildings around you are crumbling and falling apart. And in fact, the ground is still shaking. And Ipsis, you uh, get hit. Uh, with some loose stonework from uh, it looks like just a, a house um, that is crumbling around you and you take one point of damage from it as it kind of bruises your shoulder um, and you hear people screaming as these buildings are falling apart as the ground shakes and clatters and people are running trying to find their footing but ransom you were able to make it to the forge with instinctually yeah you know exactly where you're going you've been there oh, so yeah. many times oh yeah you just burst in self the place is empty Is he not here? Huh. Wow, you run really fast. Holy crap. Yeah. I don't I don't know where else he would be. Does he have um, a home? The, the, he he here. Okay, what if he what if he was rescuing people? Maybe he he's, would he's a kid. He's 16, 17. Where would he play? Uh, oh wait, 16, school? 17. Bit older than playing. School he, maybe? Girlfriend, uh, no. where do no. the people hang out? Are there bike sheds? I don't know. Bleachers? I don't know, Lon's Delight. I don't know. A familiar uh, voice. Ransom kind of shouting outside at people. Um, kind of cover whip outside and you run a corner turn a corner and you see Sylvanas in front of you trying to help people get to sturdier buildings kind of find cover um, kind of make sure everybody's kind of out of the way of the falling stonework um, and the ground begins to settle beneath your feet um, it seems like the worst of the shaking is over, but the buildings around you are still collapsing. Sylve! Oh, oh, what? I, 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 um, I, uh, how are you here? I thought you were supposed to be gone. I was supposed to be gone, but I, I, there's, he doesn't even bother explaining. He just goes over and grabs him. Put up with um, it. It's been it's been almost a year. Put up with it. Ipsis Ransom's hugging. I know you have a lot of feelings, but I'm kind of trying to help people. So then I'll help you and he kinda of lets go, but he's he's pale. Oh gods. <sighs> Thanks. Are you hurt? 
Um, I'm fine. I took a, I got a, he's got like a cut on one arm. He's like, we had some of the stuff in the forge started falling off the wall, which is why I headed outside. Cause you know, you don't want to be with a bunch of sharp stuff when it's falling from the ceiling. No, um, you don't. So I headed outside and then people didn't, everybody was just kind of running around like crazy people and didn't seem to know what they were doing. Um, so I tried to help them. Of course you did. I thought you were gone, God. I was always gonna come back to you as soon as I could. It was never gonna be permanent. It's been a year, though. I know. I didn't think you were coming back. Sorry. I know. And I have a lot to answer for with you. Just didn't want for you to get caught up in everything else. There have been people poking around. I hear whispers in the marketplace of people asking about you. Which name do they use? Depends on the people. Damn. Has anyone come to you? No. No. I think I've kept a low enough profile. I'm so sorry. There was this one guy. Kept poking around a lot. Asking about you and who you travel with and thankfully some of the some of the boys down at the market kept their mouth shut about me. Just said that they hadn't seen you in a while. He was with some dollar lady. I didn't stick around too long to find anything out. Smart. If you tell me anything, it was sometimes it's best to just stay low. You were always a quick learner. And I tried. I know. Sorry. Who are they? Um, we are in an emergency. The city is falling down. Perhaps we can do this yeah. later? Yeah. We're here to help. That's all you need to know. They're, they're a trustworthy. No. Oh, okay, good. Well, I mean, the ground seems to be kind of stable now. Are you here to help ransom or help the who? They came well, because of me. Well, because we I love him we very much. Well, if those people keep poking around, I guess we should get out of sight, huh? Yeah. It looks like your forge was mostly intact. Yeah, I think it, it some stuff knocked off the walls, but I think it's a, it's a sturdy building. It's been reinforced a lot of times. Yeah. You're a smith? Yeah. He's a smith in training, yeah. yeah. Done a lot of training this last year. I get to do things on my own now. I knew you would. Fantastic. But yeah, you guys can come back. I, I doubt anybody else is going to be coming to the forge anytime soon with everything going on. We can yeah. pull out some pots or something. Yeah, we need to get off the streets. Shouldn't we help some people? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna pull his hood as low as he possibly can. I know, I know, but it's their lives. I know, I know. I mean, yes, you're right. You're right. Damn, I'm right. <sighs> um, I guess we'll see what we can do to help the people. Um, so. It looks like there's um, a couple of places where people are just starting to kind of try and pick pick up their lives again, kind of try and rescue um, objects from their homes. Um, you hear shouting from maybe the far end of what sounds like the square. Um, 
and you can see kind of one building that's underneath kind of an aqueduct that has kind of collapsed a little bit and it looks like there's water pouring into the building um, and you hear people shouting and trying to kind of dig their way through Lon's Delight wants to draw herself up and with all of her um, with, with all of her like mom power authority she's going to start yelling at people to leave possessions they're not worth your lives and generally ordering people about and being really really bossy and I'd like to convince you to let me use survival for it because I'm trying to convince them to survive. <laughs> Scott's just pushing his luck today. If you were trying to tell them what to do to kind of reinforce buildings or where to stand or where to go, I would say it's survival. If you're just trying to get them to listen to you, it's a persuasion. I'm trying to get them to leave their possessions and things. If I see people yeah. being silly. So you're trying to persuade them to do what you want them to do. Okay. Good try. <laughs> Gotta test these new DMs, you know. <laughs> Kelly's doing absolutely hey. amazing. I bend when it makes sense. If it doesn't make any sense, I'm not bending. <laughs> I use my mage hand to while she's doing this to kind of like help them start picking things up like over near the aqueduct yeah so so if you uh we'll come back to you in one second Scott. Yeah. so ipsis what you see if you've kind of headed over to where this aqueduct is and so the aqueducts are bringing in water from somewhere else right and this one seems to have collapsed and it's actually kind of basically pouring water into the roof of this building but it looks like um the the sections of the roof have caved in and have actually closed off the exits and so it seems to be filling up with the water. So what you could try to do is move some of the rock. Um, yeah, like using... The building. Um, yeah. I would need you to probably roll a survival to see if you're going to be moving rock and being helpful or if you're just moving things that are keeping the building up. Is there any way I could help with that with, like, directing her? Yeah, you could aid in that survival check, kind of going up and investigating what's going to make the most sense. Um, how does Ransom feel about the idea of this building filling up with water? Not great. <laughs> is that affecting how he's reacting, or is he doing no. okay? He, in okay. Si for the most part, in situations of crisis, he's pretty calm. It's when people he cares about are the immediately affected, affected ones that he starts to panic. But he can still keep an eye on Sylvanas, so he's doing okay. Okay, so you are able to help Ipsis, but we'll go back to Lon's delight really quick. And Lon's, as you're kind of directing people, um, you are imposing. <laughs> you are very tall and beefy and stunning and um, a demon demon <laughs> part demon <laughs> um and so in all of your or your uh, in your fact tequila sunrise glory <laughs> i ahead. might i might use the formaturgy cantrip almost subconsciously um to uh, <laughs> enhance my um my voice is going to boom three times as loud as normal. Uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to make uh, my eyes glow uh, a sort of not a red, sort of like a purple sort of color, and I'm going to be like booming orders at people for them to be moving and saving themselves and not being stupid. And people listen to you. Um, there may be a few folk in town here who are more like. Um, really like the city guard who kind of go about what they what their orders are to do without paying you much heed um the most thing they do is they look at you kind of note that you seem to be getting people moving and if anything they look grateful to you kind of saying thank you because you seem to be getting the common people out of their way <laughs> so that they can do their jobs um and the common people kind of listen as you herd them essentially away from the most collapsed buildings. Um, besides trying to get them 
kind of to leave their things behind and, and move on, is there anything else you're trying to get them to do um, or just kind of to find shelter elsewhere? Uh, just to get to safety. I'll move people into strong buildings. They said the forge looked strong. So anywhere mm-hmm. else that looks strong, perhaps somewhere that has um, strong pillars or um, places that look structurally sound. Yeah, so some of the, probably some of the strongest places here are the forge. Um, I imagine that there's there's probably a temple. Yes, also, um, still standing. taverns. I'll be getting them to go into the um, into the ale cellars. Mm-hmm. Below the ground. So the underground, yep. Yeah. Um, so you're able to find a few places like that. Um, there may even be when um, a few people with their homes realize what you're trying to do. If anyone has a personal cellar, they will open their doors and let people in because they're uh, <laughs> think of you as an authority. <laughs> um, meanwhile, panning back to Ransom and Ipsis, um, you are able to kind of figure out the right stones to move um, and kind of from the top that allow some of the water to start kind of gushing out into the street um, and it seems to just kind of fill the sidewalk um, and fill the streets and uh, instead of going filling up this hall when you hear um, from the inside uh, some kind of just sighs of relief um, and people just uh, calming down. You hear like the heavy breathing of someone who um, kind of has lessened their panic. Um, but the ground is steady. And so you, these people, you managed to help kind of get these folks in their their shop um, basically no longer filling with water um, are able to get a few people to call uh, um, managed to get a few people to safety kind of in sturdy buildings that don't seem to be falling um, heavy pillars um, or in kind of open spaces where um, that doesn't seem like there's any falling rock anymore um, however the ground is steady now um and looking around, you don't see any of those cracks anymore. Let the professionals take it from here. I, we should get off the streets. And speaking of streets, where are we, Ransom? Where did we jump to? One we're inside. Fair enough. We meeting up with Lons at this point and then finding yeah. some place to go. Yeah. So let's uh, do a little bit of a retcon if that's cool, because chat are telling me that actually basements are the worst place to go in an earthquake, and I'd hate to put out the wrong kind of public service announcement. Um, <laughs> instead, Lons Delight will be telling people to go in doorways, under tables, and that bathtubs. sort of thing on the ground floor. Is is bathtubs good or is that hurricanes? Because I think bathtubs is good for both. Well, I bathtubs think. is good for bathtubs is good for tornadoes because the walls in a bathroom tend to be sturdier because of the piping. Mm. Bathrooms there would not necessarily be piping True. in your average uh, person's bathroom here. True. <laughs> that's a that's um, a nobility thing. However, up, I will turn say, your like, bathtubs. <laughs> they're only made of copper, right? Or, or oh wait, they're only made of yeah. copper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I would, you would say, I would say that you were able to get people kind of in open spaces where there isn't going to be any debris falling onto them, as well as kind of inside some of these buildings that are in fact sturdier and have a lot of pillars and are going to have things like doorways that will protect you from, from things that are falling. Um, so like the temple, um, the tavern is probably actually going to be fairly sturdy. There's a lot of rooms, there's a lot of roofing, a lot of internal beams. And a lot of Um, tables. And a lot of tables, a bar to hide under. Um, for the most part, 
the aftershocks do seem to have settled though. Um, so you're not really worried anymore about kind of random debris falling. You're just worried about like if a whole building collapses at this point. So it's pretty clear which ones are falling apart and which ones are sturdy. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're getting near friend. And this isn't like a large city where you're going to have sky skyscrapers that are going to fall and knock out other buildings. It's, you know. We have buildings. another raid, everyone. Welcome, okay. Ascension Stories. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Your gift, your, your, your emote game is also on point. <laughs> um. I don't remember, Vera. <laughs> to Great! Your question that you Great! Said to me. Fantastic! <laughs> okay! I'll just handle that then, okay? Wow, Vera, you went squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what panic does. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't expect that this would be happening no. so soon. Um, to, for, to fill everybody in, I had Vera, since she, Ransom, is our, our local expert, uh, Vera actually helped me do some world, world, world building off stream. And I do believe that we named kingdoms, but we did not name individual cities. So. We goofed up! <laughs> Um, so, we are heading back to the forge, uh, Sylvanas is with you. Okay, good. Um, and as far as all of you can tell, uh, you are back on the regular material plane. <laughs> so is it safe to say that this is now back to normal, or does that not really exist anymore? Um, I think Ransom would know that in this particular city, the idea of an earthquake is ridiculous. Yeah, pretty much. The, this is not the city. Like, they, they have issues with heavy storms, but not, not earthquakes. He's just gonna kind of usher everyone in and then shut the door. <laughs> where's your, where's your forge master? Um, oh, he went a few towns over for a, a market day. Um, but he he left me here for a couple days. Said he'd be back. I'm supposed to just hold down the forge. And look at you saving the townspeople. It's the least I can do. They've, you know, they've all helped kind of take care of me in the past year. They've been good to you. Yeah. Everybody here is really kind to me. Like I said, there's been some of the guys have been really nice and making sure that those looking for you don't start whispering about me, too. I'll have to thank them. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm glad that you've been safe. Um, Lon's Delight, Ipsis, this is Sylvanas, the closest thing I have anymore to family. Brother in all but blood. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sylvanas. I'm very thank excited you. to meet a blacksmith. Apprentice, technically. Still, um, you are honored amongst many mercenaries. Protected. Now kind of pop out and just be like, Hi, I'm Ipsis. Oh, hello. It's uh, nice to meet you. Sorry, you startled me. Ransom this made me really wary of people who just pop out of the middle of nowhere. Sorry, That's a good thing to be aware of. But it's still, it's a good thing to be frightened of. Apparently earthquakes now, too. Oh, I wouldn't worry so much about that. I would for now until we find the stop the root cause, but regardless... Last week it snowed. 
It's why the aqueducts are so full. That's not normal at all here. I don't know if it's snowed here in my lifetime. (sighs) Uh, It's okay because the stars which recently fell have just upset the atmosphere a little bit. That's all. And everything is completely normal, isn't it, Ransom? I can definitely roll deception to try and protect this sweet child. Lon's delight. Yes. Yes, Ransom. He's not afraid of ugly truths. I've had to share plenty with him. Oh. You were somewhat convincing, though. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I mean, it could be true. The one thing I've never done to Sylvanas is lie, and I never will. I had to leave him here. Not all lies are bad things, but this isn't the time for that conversation. (sighs) What's going on? There's a prophecy in the works, and we were all, the three of us and another person, were wrapped up in it. And until we figure everything out, that's part of why the weather shifts have been happening. Well, they're getting worse. I know. They're getting more. At first, it was just storms that were bigger or harder. It was hail, like the spring storms, but in the summer. And now, now it's things that don't make any sense. And it's causing so much damage. And we keep getting reports from other smithies other towns and it's not just us this kind of thing is happening everywhere yeah we're across across the, the book, book. Uh, we found a book that has something to do with it have you it's read it not yet. The mo- almost immediately after we found it came the tear that showed the city falling to pieces and the only thing I could think about was you. It was very brave. Ransom charged on. We looked back and we're like, Ransom, why on earth do you charge so bravely? And she said, I have to save my brother. And we followed him. Something you, like You know, that. I can take care of myself. I... You are the strongest person I know. I know you can take care of yourself. That doesn't mean I'm ever going to stop wanting to protect you. The only person I've seen her nearly so convi- so uh, worried about stop. is... Stop! Uh, no! Friend. <sighs> Sandor. You have a friend? They are so cute together. Uh, oh, God. It's wonderful, Sylvanas. Uh, well, we're all friends, to be fair. So, according to them. You have three friends? Apparently. He just kind of sits. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pretty unusual? Does Ransom not usually have friends? Uh... Ransom has a uh, friend and informants. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, they need a little bit of work, but they're coming around. I'm her new pet project. Continual positive reinforcement. It actually kind of does wonders. <laughs> And I think Sylvanas is going to look at Ipsis when when she says this and just kind of like up and down. (laughs) Fair. Very fair. I'm going to bet on Ransom. (laughs) (laughs) That's very fair. I won't uh, hold that against you, but uh, I'd watch your back and I'll like flick out one of my um, I keep like one small, very thin kind of like shiv almost it's very <laughs> crude very crude because i don't have much money at all but it's like 
something I keep like right in the instep and I'll just kind of like flick it out to kind of scare him real quick and then put it back. <laughs> She's harmless. I mean, I'm used to you I just traveling with some odd folks. <laughs> oh, so you're counting yourself. Seeing as you're the you're my main you've been my main traveling companion for what, seven years? Were you, were you ever gonna tell me what's going on? You 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 said a lot about a prophecy in the book. There's a prophecy, there's a there's some sort of game being orchestrated by the gods, and it's been going on too long, and that's apparently threatening the boundaries of the planes, and we're working on it. And, uh, and Ransom's good friend Sandor uh, is also in some sort of uh, love thing with this person who uh, it, it, they're trying to hide from, and uh, I, I, I'm we we fought a troll under a mountain, and um, there's a water genasi as well who's very nice. Should we just be telling everything? Not everything. You don't need to tell him about your crush. Or you could. <laughs> Seven years traveling with this one means I don't get any of those kind of stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe Ransom will tell you some things later on. Mine okay. is lovely. She's, she's crushing very hard on a water genasi dancer. She's very pretty. That sounds like a wonderful choice. Yes, Lonsla just needs to figure out how to string sentences together around her. But she's getting there. Uh, you were telling me I strung too many sentences together just a minute ago. String proper sentences together that is not your entire life story in one morning. We're working on it. Ransom is also apparently an expert at flirting. No, I'm good at obs observing other people do it. That... Hey, no kink shaming. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been alright? Yeah, I've been fine. I mean, everything here is just kind of the same thing one day after the next. <laughs> Work, take orders, make things, work, hammer, heat things, hide from people, repeat. Have they gotten I am... close? No. Um, over the last year, the same group keeps, the same two of them, they keep coming back looking for you, but they aren't very good at it. The man and the woman? <laughs> yeah. They don't seem to really... Probably Johan and his plan. sister. They're kind of a mess, to be honest. Sounds like some people that we ran into. Do the, is, the, the, is the man kind of squeaky and the woman kind of scary? Exactly. Yeah, that sounds like them. They're a mess. <laughs> I'm not really convinced that they know what they're doing. It's and been really, are... like, they should have figured me out by now because how many times they've been here, but every time they just kind of wander around in circles for 20 minutes and then they leave. <laughs> Maybe don't look a gift horse in the mouth, little one. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, they do, uh, they do, they did say something about traveling up to the past, trying to find something else D going to trying to find somewhere else different place yeah that's where we ran into them no oh. with any luck they're still there yeah with any luck i i heard whispers about them again recently somebody said they saw them but great i don't know they've got a hideout on the other side of the town Good like I said, know. they're not very good at this. <laughs> you can get me the location, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, let me ask around. I can get back for you in the morning. Carefully. Of course. 
And while this conversation is happening, Ipsis has managed to kind of slip out the back door without anyone really noticing. <laughs> She's kind of popped away um, and comes back laden down with my favorite thing, snacks. <laughs> I got like three pitchers of ale and like just like a handful of snacks that I kind of like dump out on the table and then just set the the tankards down. I don't interrupt your story or your talking. I just like set it all down and just like sit and just like. (laughs) This looks wonderful, Lipsies. I was getting a little snacky, so uh, I just, I figured it out. It's all good. Thank you. Uh, so uh, we're welcome to, to now, I guess. <laughs> welcome to Zoral. Okay, that's a new one. Have any of us ever been to Zoral on our many travels? large city it's not like a capital city um it's kind of out of the way but it's fairly populous so you may have traveled through um you you probably at least recognize the name um it's pretty obvious why this seems to be a good place to have stashed someone um busy enough that an individual doesn't get known um but not so busy that it's going to attract the wrong kind of attention Um, It's definitely a much larger, much more populous place than, say, Dawn was. Um, It's a city in its own right. I left Sylvanas. I left Sylvanas here because I was found out on a job, and. more or less needed to cut and run before my head ended up on a spike. Um, But before that, I was kind of already being hunted for other things, which is why my name is Ransom Aloysius. other things? Did you have a name before you were Ransom? Nicobar Artagan. That's the, name I, that's the name I was born with. Born with, so there weren't any other names? No. Just the two. We can... Speak openly in front of... He knows everything. And look, the technical term, I think, is shook. (laughs) (laughs) That Ransom is sharing this information. Yeah. Ransom? Yes. Do you think, were you, when, okay, I find it very convenient that we find a magic book, which we don't know what it does yet, and then there's an earthquake happening where your brother is residing, and then all of a sudden, boom, rift opens, and we are suddenly able to go right there at the correct time and place to save them. Were you thinking about your brother when you got your hands on the book by chance? No. No, I wasn't. I was thinking, hell yes, finally some damn answers. Well, maybe we need to know what the book is about, what it's containing, and maybe that will lead to why the rift led here at such a specific point in time. Maybe it connected with Ransom in some way and kind of sparked that place. I don't you know? know. Maybe the other, like the a other rift. stolen thought. 
The other rifts have seemed pretty... random. They weren't places special to you when you saw them. No. I mean, not necessarily, no. I, uh... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, um... I didn't really recognize them, but... I mean, I feel like things have been kind of changing and shifting and evolving to be more intimate and personal. Maybe. I wonder... Like, like Lonzo saying, I wonder how it ended up being at such a specific and perfectly timed spot. I said something about being part of a prophecy and gods and stuff. Yeah. You know, you taught me to keep track of everybody in town. I did. I mean, that's why I noticed that that guy and that woman kept coming back. What else did you notice? The temple has a new monk that keeps coming by. A new priestess, I think. But she's weird. She wears weird clothes. Black and white with purple trim? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> has been around a lot. Around I've seen you? Her a lot. And now that I think about it, maybe? I, I see her a lot. I don't I, like that. I see her more than I see other people in town. I don't like that at all. But she never talks to me. I never hear your name on her. She's just kind of always around. She doesn't say much. Probably need to talk to her too. So, Ipsis, this is the messy past I was trying to not get dragged into. Whoa. Sorry to drag you in. No, I mean, to be fair, it was me who kind of dragged everyone into my shady past first, so uh, this is only fitting. I feel like we all have a very shady past we're trying to run from, and maybe running is not the most ideal problem solver this time. Yeah, maybe not. He kind of holds out his fist. No. Bump yeah. the fist. Yeah. <laughs> Two shady pasts that just don't like to let go. And that's a funny thing. I I thought my past had been let go. I, I let go of it. I had moved on, realized that I was a different person, and found bonds shortly after, like, a year or two I spent by myself. But, like, I don't know. It just kind of, it was very random that everything kind of just started to happen after we met Sandor, which ironically enough is funny considering he's the only one not here now, but yeah. I don't know. It's it's just kind of funny to, to think about how different things were just a week ago, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I feel like looking at this book is going to give us some answers, but at the same time, I'm almost dreading it. <laughs> Oh, Funny, I was excited should. a moment ago. I think we should be cautiously optimistic, as Lonsolite would probably put it. Um, but I'm just hoping we get something out of it. I mean, the thing like knocked me unconscious. I hope I hope it's at least important in some regard. I hope we can at least read it. That's my biggest worry: is that we're oh, not going to be able to read it. It could be in an entirely different language that none of us know. Yeah. Shit. Well, you might as well just take it out and at least peek at it to see if it's something that we can even try to comprehend. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna pull it out. Oh. Sorry, folks. Hold on one second. It's all good. (laughs) 
it's about to start pouring here. My wonderful girlfriend has offered to take my dog out before that happens. Sam is amazing. <laughs> well, I asked my wonderful girlfriend to take him out, and she agreed to do so. <laughs> um, so, you have decided to try and open the book? I've brought it out. I haven't opened it yet, and I kind of look at Lon's Delight. I think this thing is the only thing that's going to give us any answers. Should we get our shields out again? If you could get your sh Yeah, maybe do that and someone get Sylvanas behind them. I'll kind of move in front of Sylvanas then. Okay. He kind of ducks kind of back in a corner, maybe even behind a pillar behind Ipsis as you open this book. Anything happen? Nope. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I look at the first page. I was thinking about making everybody roll for it anyway, just to see, but I decided not to. <laughs> I have done that as a DM and it's wonderful. Oh, I've done that already. You guys just haven't noticed. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. So I look at the first page. Um, and it is in celestial. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> However, ransom. Uh huh. You are in a line of work that requires good, good. Here's a great deal back. of. Reading. Breaking. That's and true, too. I imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I would say that with some time and some lucky rolls, you could still get some information out of this book. Okay. Thank you very much to Tia for the subscription. You have a reroll to gift. Thank you, Tia. Um... But he looks at it and curses. <laughs> An infernal, which everyone here understands. Guys, this is a room of four tieflings. <laughs> Showing off the hair. It is so pretty. <laughs> it is so pretty. Scrat is a model. I feel I feel pretty. Walk, walk, fashion baby. Well, uh, do you know anybody who may speak this, or any way that we can try to figure out what any of this says? I... I can try to break, the, break through it on my own just due to this, you know, being a job that I did for years, successfully. Um, I don't know if there's anyone I would trust with this. Yeah, I don't think we should be giving that away anytime soon to anybody we trust or distrust. Yeah. So, ignore my dog getting dried off in the background. <laughs> so, when you are looking at the book, mm -hmm. you... Notice a few things immediately. So I'll give you some information so that you can try and uh, start to look more purposefully. So okay. the first thing you notice is that it is written um, in kind of two parts. The beginning of the book um, looks like um, a story almost. There's actually like chapters, but it looks handwritten. It's almost like the cross between um, a novel and a diary. Mm -hmm. It's like someone's writing down a story that they would like to tell other people. Mm -hmm. um, you see, it looks like it starts and stops and starts and stops. The ink is different ages as it gets farther into the book. Um, and then at the end, you see it begins to trail off. And then in the second half of the book um, is more like notes. It's like someone scribbling out ideas. Um, there actually is even a couple different languages here. Um, you can read bits and, and pieces that look like 
um, spells, maybe. Um, others that look like poisons or potions. Um, but they're not spells or things that you recognize. They look like someone is trying to make up spells on the spot. Like they're trying to design something new. Oh. Um, and you well can then. see places where it's scratched out where it seems like they've failed or they've scratched out that idea. Um, and others that are kind of circled, um, like marked, like flagged. Like He is sharing each thing he's finding with these two. And well, Savannah, since he's in the room. Um, but the predominant uh, language here does seem to be celestial. Okay. Well, does it seem dangerous at all? I think it probably holds dangerous information, but I don't think the book itself is dangerous at this point. Why would someone write down all the spells this way? Trying to make something new? Mm. Taking note of what works and what doesn't. Following through. Don't you just get the spells that your patron or god give you? Wizards tend to try to create their own. And perhaps some ambitious clerics or warlocks. I mean, spells had to be made at one point. Now they're handed down, but that's not to say that there can't ever be something new created. Don't, don't just demons make spells? No. Oh. No. Anyone with the intellect and the will could probably design a spell all their own. They just have to work and work and work at it. Looks like this person was really working at it. I'm interested in the fact that there are poisons in here as well. Poisons? Like, what, what types of poison can you tell? No, not currently. Again, this language isn't my mother tongue or any tongue that I'm overly familiar with, but I'm going to work at it. Well, if you find anything else that might be important, definitely let us know. Absolutely. But it's yours to keep for as long as you need. Yeah. I wonder if we should try and see about that temple or about the two that have been asking about me and in relation to Sylvanas. I can work on this when we're done with that, but those both kind of seem important. Unless you disagree. No, I, uh... I think that's actually probably the smartest way to go about it, given the circumstances. What do you think, Lancelot? Sorry. Um... Sorry, I was completely... Spells? People write their own? People can write their own spells and create their own if they're smart enough and have enough willpower to do so, yes. I mean, to be fair, Lons, I don't get my spells from any sort of person or thing directly. I just kind of just learned mine. I, oh, I mean, I can understand learning a spell, but I still thought it kind of came from something that gave you the powers, you know? Mm. Well, well, I guess they had to be created in the first place somehow, so somebody had to do it. Exactly. I just thought that spells were all either gifted by demons or made to fight demons. No. Like gods. Sorcerers get their magic due to magic being in their bloodline. Wizards get it because they're literally so smart they just kind of reached out and took it. Oh. Clerics are given magic by their divine patron, and then warlocks like you, whoever their patrons are, because there are warlocks that have non-devilish patrons, I've heard. Oh. Some have even nice ones. Mm. Uh. He's gonna, like, awkwardly pat her shoulder. You do care. I've already told- Lonzolite! Continual Hug. positive- Hug. <gasps> She's going to pick him up and spin him round! <laughs> I have many, many regrets, is all he says. <laughs> and then snuggled into his neck. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time, Ransom. This is for you, not me. 
for the time being. Mm hmm. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Little that's bit enough. Longer. Little bit longer. Oh. Okay. It's a record. Sylvanas is sitting there with his mouth open, like. I hug you all the time, you shit. <laughs> Told you, Sylvanas. Yeah. Continual. Me, not other people. Continual <laughs> positive reinforcement. <laughs> you needed her a long time ago. <laughs> Probably, but it's too late. I am as I am. Flawed as that is. I don't think you're flawed, Ransom. Yeah, well. Sylvanas. I, uh... I understand you're probably... angry or upset with me for leaving and being gone as long as I've been. And I'm just... want you to know I'm sorry. Um, I was mad at first. I was really mad. I'm confused. But I know that your whole life may have revolved around me, but it, it doesn't have to. That's not what it was. My life will always revolve around you. And I'm not sorry for it, and I don't... It's not that I want that to change, it's that... It got to the point where me being around you was keep putting you in more danger than me being around you was protecting you. And I'm sorry. I mean... For that, for leaving, for all of it, for everything. I mean, I get it. I, I, I think. Like, I know why you did it. I just... At first, I just kept waiting for you to come back. Kind of hoping you would realize that I'm grown up and I can get to have a say and then I screwed up one too many times at the forge <laughs> realizing that I can make mistakes and that maybe I'm not as much of a grown up as I thought I was <laughs> and that maybe Maybe it was the better idea. But I guess I just kept hoping that I would prove prove myself worthy of coming with you again. But I know I'm not ready yet. But you will be. I have every faith that you will be. I know that you're going to be able to protect yourself, and hell, you'll probably be able to protect me. Look at those damn shoulders of yours. Swinging a hammer. I will always come back for you. It might be take some time, but I will always come back for you. You know, there was a, a arms master who came by and taught me for a little while. So I can not only make a sword, but I can swing one now, too. And you're already a step ahead of me, because I never learned sword play. And I can use both hands, too. <laughs> so tough. Benefit of a left-handed swords, master. <laughs> Why did that sound familiar? I'll look into it. Um... I'm proud of you. 
Lon's delight uh, on hearing that is the maths gif. <laughs> <laughs> Ransom is too, but right now he's too preoccupied because this this person is his everything. <laughs> Syl Sylvanas is his north star. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm killing Ray. <laughs> I just I just love the wholesomeness. Like she's literally sitting there, just like so infatuated with this conversation, and just so like feeling the warmth and the love. Like it's her favorite thing to see come, especially from a person like Ransom. Yeah. Silv, I'm so proud of you. I'm He's just solid. gonna hug him real quick. Real hard. <sighs> and I promise that you can trust these two. Then he looks at Lon's delight, and he looks at Ips Ipsis. Sylvanas is everything to me. I'm trusting you with him. Do you understand that? Absolutely. You will be guarded like one of my very own. If something happens to me, I need you two to watch after him. Well, what else would we do? Thank you. Now, stop all this talk about something happening to you. Because you're under my protection too. And I wouldn't be worth protecting your brother if I wasn't capable of protecting you. So shush. Yeah. Hugs anytime you want them. I know. And now Sylv knows. I suppose as far as hugs go, she's very good at them. Oh, really? Yeah. Aren't most hugs good? I mean... I mean, if they're, like, consensual. <laughs> <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I thought you were uh. talking about your brother, and I got confused. You were talking about me? No, I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I was talking about you. Um, well... We can spend the night here, I guess, and it's... late. Yeah. Um, at least it's warm here, in case yeah. it snows again. And then tomorrow I can take you, or tell you, where... Uh, that hideout is. Yeah. That's unfortunately it's still probably not best for you to be seen with me. Well, I can I can point you to the right side of town. You always were the best informant I ever had. It's because I'm so sneaky. <laughs> of course it is. I've missed you. Missed you like uh, my like my heart was cut out. <laughs> and I think we will kind of all bed down for the night. And I'd like to go around um, and wrap up this particular episode with um, a check-in for uh the for chat um taking a few minutes here at this midway point of the season um where each of our players kind of says a little bit about how their character is feeling right now about everything uh maybe take a moment to kind of debrief uh with chat a little bit and see how the first half of the season has gone how are how is each of us, each of our characters feeling now that they're back at home, but maybe shouldn't be. Um, 
So, since Ray is going to step away briefly, would Lon's Delight or Ransom like? <laughs> would Lon's Delight like to? Get this? <laughs> since we're L- done duck and cover. <laughs> Lon's Delight, um, yeah, Lon's Delight, um, is very glad of the distractions. With everything going on, uh, she hasn't been reflecting inwardly too much, which is kind of nice. She's not been worrying about her sister or her dad or her mom or any of that business. She's mostly just been focusing on Ransom and Ipsis and and kind of Sandor, but also Sandor's gone missing, so kind of uh, messed up a bit on that one. Ransom didn't pick up on it in that conversation just then, so good on that. Um, So they're feeling quite good. Um, They are a bit gutted about losing Maritza. And then traveling many miles away. Oops. Yeah, you did just kind of say you were going to be back and then switch mater- <laughs> switch planes. So we could get tilted back. We don't know. We probably we have to be. Maybe could get tilted back, but also they hired us because they're not very good adventurers and we've left them alone in the snow and there's wolves out there. Um, no, we left them in a bar. We left them in a bar. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Avoidance is the main mood of Lon's Delight at the minute. She's quite happy sorting out everyone else's issues because it means she doesn't have to look at her own. And this is good. She's still thoroughly focused on shipping Ransom and Sandor. I'm sorry, you two. <laughs> um, I'm not. <laughs> And, you know, as long as the past doesn't keep trying to kill Ipsis, then everything's great. She's almost not even thinking about that. Thoroughly distracted by the hubbub. Or at least pretending to be. (laughs) On the surface level, thoroughly distracted by the hubbub. So how is Ransom doing? Um... I, as a player, feel very guilty right now for taking Lon's Delight away from Maritza. <laughs> There's a lot of episodes left. There are. Plenty but there time. was also no way in hell that Ransom would not have dove through that portal. Like, nothing would have stopped him. <laughs> they would have had to knock him out. <laughs> um, hey guys, Ransom has a heart. <laughs> Um. Oh boy. Um, he's finally coming to terms with the fact that he cares for the party, which is nice. Like, in all honesty, he genuinely cares for each of them very deeply. Um, he's very. It's funny because Lonsolite's kind of the caretaker, but he's very protective of her in his way. He very much wants to go curse the hell out of her father. So he he didn't exactly miss what's going on with you, Lon's Delight. He's just a little jittery right now, we'll go with. Um, and Ipsis, he just thinks, is a bit of a delight. She's very foreign to him. He's never really run into anyone like her. And he's very, very worried about Sandor right now because he does not, he just does not like the situation. The situation is a bad situation in his mind. Um, he was absolutely terrified for Sylvanas when he saw that, but right now he's if the whole party was here and Sylvanas was here, he would almost be able to relax for the first time in years. That's how much these people all mean to him. And I like that I've gotten him to this point. And I like that you guys have helped me get him to this point. So thank you. And Ipsis. How is she doing? I, I'm almost along the lines of what Lon Slate was talking about, about, about like using everyone else's problems to kind of mask your own except for the fact that like she's genuinely so very excited about what's going on in the weirdest ways because it's the biggest adventure she's been on yet and that excites her to her core that's what gives her so much energy and drive is 
the fact that she's out doing whatever she wants with amazing people seeing amazing things and even though there's some unamazing things that happen along the way she's just very enthralled to be having what she envisions is a family because she's never quite had that um and and mom's delight being very nurturing and ransom and sandor bickering it it reminds her very much like a normal family quote unquote normal family of what she assumes people are constant bickering and all of that cuz she she imagines people don't get along all the time but um in the back of her mind she's still absolutely terrified and the whole mantra leaving the note in my pocket saying watch your back thing very much flashes every instance of where they go even if she may not show it uh she's always kind of like on this high alert and has this like very well kept anxiety about it uh just trying to be that overtly positive fun one of the group to try and be the lending hand wherever it needs to be lent um but she's in her naivety trying to learn as much as she can to like genuinely taking notes with the flirting and and all of that it's very fun and she kind of like she gets a little uncomfortable every once in a while but everyone kind of scoops her back up and puts her right in the middle of everything and she feels safe and supported and she's just very happy to to be where she is even though there is this huge looming giant question mark of black cloudedness hanging above everyone it seems but she's trying to have the best time she can in all of it we don't deserve ipsis <laughs> She's a very pure soul. Like she's just she just wants to adventure and have fun and save people who need to be saved. Like a she has that like very true adventurous soul. And I she, I love her very much. <laughs> she, she is darling. So it sounds like overall we're in this weird place of okay. Kind of keeping the terrors at bay. Yeah, kind of. For the most part, <laughs> or ignoring them completely. Yeah, that's not gonna last, sweetheart. I am right here. As soon as Ransom is able to chill out about his brother, you're doomed. No. So we're just kind of yeah. waiting for the dam to burst. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for you. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm truly is, so excited is, to see what happens. Honestly, so inexorable. I'm looking forward to exploring it, but yes. But Lon's Delight isn't. Lon's Delight is not, but Scrat is very much looking forward to where it goes. Because, you know, like I'm one of them people that gives a lot of knives in a very short amount of words. So there's a lot of space for Kelly to do all sorts of wonderful things to me. Yeah. And I have fear. <laughs> yeah yeah I also gave Kelly way too many knives I'm seeing this I'm seeing this right now I've got to say that Kelly there's only so many episodes I can't play with oh, them all we should totally talk about Kelly's DMing so far oh my god yes right up to like this moment right now where we are all reflecting on our characters feel Kelly you are doing so amazingly like I feel like I can do stuff with you as a DM that I wouldn't normally do with new DMs, um, which is fantastic. Fantastic. I genuinely cannot rave enough about how much of a good experience it is to be a player for you. I I don't have the words for how incredible it is. You genuinely make the, pl the plot feel important, I think, to each of us. I think we can all say we're all very invested both in the thing with the, the game of the gods and with the little bits of our backstory that you keep weaving in. It's oh, like a tapestry and we're just able weaving. to look at it from behind. We can see the back of it. We can't see the front. We can't see the picture. We're just trying to. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It really is. And like it's it's very fun too because even in these moments where us as players like genuinely don't know what's going on there's still so much understanding in that misunderstanding. And I know that sounds like a paradox, but like 
it's just so much fun and it's not frustrating and it's not something that like we feel like we need to solve and you know we have to do this and do that and make all these specific moves it's just very like effortless everything yeah. that we do feels effortless and you weaving the story in front of that seems effortless and it's I know it takes a lot of effort uh but it just you make it look it easy. comes off as very natural yes very, very natural. natural very natural yeah you <laughs> Except the love. Except You're supposed to be talking about everybody else's feelings, not mine. <laughs> we're talking, okay, but but Kelly, we're talking about our feelings for that, how you run our game. That is a very very good point. We Checkmate. are talking about our own feelings. Kelly, do you want to talk about DMing at all? Oh, this was not, <laughs> this was unanticipated. Um. Oh, I don't even know where to what to say. <laughs> Um, I've, this, uh, this campaign has been a lot of fun. It's been very nerve wracking because I'm playing with such wonderful people who clearly give it their all. And so I want to provide them with as many opportunities to play with that energy that they have. So I get, I've been getting very worked up about it, right? Very nervous about making sure that I'm providing as much as I can. Um, but then I sit down and I start playing with everyone and it's just so much fun and I get so lost in it. And I love just listening to all of you kind of banter and figure it out. And the fact that you just, I think I got very, I want to say lucky, but I know it's not luck because I know that Scrap puts so much effort into putting together these groups and trying to make sure that you have the right kinds of players that play the same way, all seated together. And, and I know how much thought goes behind setting up these groups. And so it's not really, I was lucky to stumble on, into Scrap being the one to set this up for me, I guess. But I know it's not pure luck that brought the table together, but I feel very lucky that I have people that are just going to roll with whatever I throw out at the table and that, that aren't going to nitpick or worry about the little details, but are just going to enjoy kind of the ride, um, which has definitely helped me, at least when I'm sitting here, not worry so much about everything and just enjoy the ride too and enjoy seeing how you react to what I throw out there. Um, and. I am very, very excited for the next couple of weeks. It's been very, very hard for me because there are things. <laughs> <laughs> there are things that I have been waiting for all season. But it's just too soon. I have to save something for the second half of the season. <laughs> okay. So I'm yeah. looking forward to the fact that we're on the... I'm like sad and excited that we're in the second half of the season because I don't want it to be over. Oh um, my god. I don't want but it to I, end. I'm also excited that I'm getting to the point where I can start throwing some of these big plots at you and not have to worry about saving something for later. This ending is going to break my heart. <laughs> Just to deflect a little. It's true I put a lot of effort into groups and things, but it is in no way luck that you are an amazing DM. Um, that if anything is lucky on my part, lucky for you to coming along to the channel, lucky for you saying yes to DMing for the first time, lucky for you to say yes to doing a campaign and all them good things so and then i'm going to deflect and take control of the show so you don't have a chance to retort <laughs> <laughs> um i believe that is the end of the show today we um we've all had a fantastic time uh we'll head over to the discord to gush about kelly some more and gush about the campaign and gush about all the things um if you guys would like to um, let us know anything about the way we play, let Kelly know anything about the way she's been DMing. This is this is Kelly's first streamed DM campaign. The first time Kelly has run a campaign on a stream with time limits and a limited number of episodes. And if you want to gush about that, I would welcome that. That is the sort of content I'd love to see on my Discord. Um, so hopefully when we head over there in just a second, we'll already see it filling up with nice comments. Um, we will be back tomorrow. At, uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. with Nightborn. Um, we uh, uh, we will also be back next week at 10:30 p.m. EST uh, with some more tilt. And I already cannot wait. Um, 
please take a moment to check out the links in chat, which does include the Discord link. It's the second link. There's also a bunch of other social links, places you can support us. Sponsor information. Big thank you to Mayhem Press and Burden the Storm Publishing, who make this all possible. Um, also, there's a whole bunch of websites you can get 10 to 15 percent discount, and we appreciate your being here. We look forward to seeing you next week, and uh, until next time, keep on evoking emotions. We will catch you later on. Bye.